welcome back to another YouTube video. On today's video, guys, I'm going to be doing a book review for the original series Goosebumps book number 35, which is a shocker on Shock Street. But first, I have a few announcements to make. So first of all, apologize for not being able to, uh, for not uploading in about a week now. I wanted to, again, take a break. I uploaded those videos for spring break. So I wanted uh, to take another uh, small break. And finally, I got the time to um, do this uh, book review. And... Um, for upcoming videos other than this, it's going to be the round four of the Horse Slasher Killer matchups. In fact, I'm probably going to record that video as well, edit these two, and then get them out uh, before I upload any of them. So, if you've watched this video but you haven't watched uh, the round four, go ahead and watch that, because uh, it should be out around the same time that uh, this um, video gets out as well. Other than that, uh, announcements, um, in the next month or two, uh, I do not know the exact date yet, I will be getting a uh, jaw surgery. So I will not be able to upload any videos for probably a couple of weeks um, because it's going to be hard to, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to talk and stuff like that. I'm not going to be able to talk this fast, obviously, and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to take a break for a couple of weeks, but I promise you I am going to try my hardest I'll probably do it bef like a little bit before the, the jaw surgery, that way I can edit it while I'm recovering or whatever. I'm going to probably record the Goosebumps collection video before that, and then probably edit it during the recovery or you know however long it, it takes me to get all the stuff I need and then finally uh, record that uh, Goosebumps collection video, but that should be coming up within, out with the next, uh, pretty soon here as well. I'm not going to say the next couple of months or weeks or whatever. Pretty soon. Don't worry. It is it is going to be coming, but just stay tuned for the mo much more recent uh, content. Other than that, I don't think I have anything else to say, so read the community post so that you can stay up to date with any potential future changes, and join the Discord. The link is now in the About section of the YouTube channel. And that's about it. Let's get on to this book review. As I said, this is going to be for a shocker on Shock Street, so I, of course, have the... 2008 reprint uh, copy, which I read out of, and then I have the original copy, of course, for A Shocker on Shock Street, and this was not on my priority list, honestly. I was going through Goosebumps books that I would read next, and I just decided, you know what, I'll just do A Shocker on Shock Street, why not? Uh, very, very popular Goosebumps book. Um, uh, the Praying Mantis was featured in the Goosebumps movie, obviously, so it just sh shows you kind of the popularity and stuff like that. And I guess I'll just go over what the book is about, and then I'll tell you my thoughts, as I usually do, because it's actually been about a week since I finished this book, so I do need to refresh my memory. Basically, uh, for those of you who have not read or heard of the Shock Around Shock Street, basically it's about... These two kids named Aaron and Marty, I had to look at the back so I can remember, Aaron and Marty, and they're not brother and sister, by the way. Um, they explain that in the book, and they, you know, make sure you know that. They are not brother and sister. Aaron and Marty are good friends, uh, a boy and a girl. Uh, they're good friends, and they are really interested in, interested in these horror movies, specifically these shocker horror movies. Um, um, and the reason why is that Aaron's dad... Uh, owns the company uh, for Shocker or whatever, and he's creating a new, uh, how do you want to say it, like a tram ride um, for um, featuring all these different scenes from the Shocker movies and stuff like that, and they are the first people to get to ride on that tram ride. So basically, um, at the beginning of the book, um, they watch like a Shocker movie, we get like a scene with that, they're talking to his dad, they're talking to their dad about it and stuff like that. And then for the rest of the book, they go on this wild tram ride where lots of crazy stuff happens, and yeah, just lots of fun stuff happens, and uh, eventually we get this twist ending. I'm not going to say what. I feel that I don't need to say it. Um, in other ones, I felt like I needed to say it um, just to uh, really uh, elaborate on stuff, but on Shocker Struck Street... I don't really feel I need to uh, elaborate on what the twist ending is, so if you haven't read the book, you're good to go. There is no spoilers uh, for this book, and that's pretty much it. It's a very, very simple plot. Um, they go on this tram ride for most of the book, and then at the ending of the book, there's a particular twist ending, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so what are my thoughts on the book? I did enjoy the book more than I enjoyed the, the episode, and I think that's just because A Shocker on Shock Street is one of those Goosebumps books where, um, like One Day at Horrorland, 
if you can get all you can get a lot more of the the, the rides and the experience in the book than you can in a 20 minute episode so like with one day at Horrorland, obviously there was a lot more thrills and um parts that were not in the book and stuff like that namely um and this is i wouldn't consider this a spoiler this is just a reminder that this did happen so you're not like disappointed if it if it doesn't happen in the book the praying mantis does appear in the book i know it, if you've read the if you watch the episode first um you'd probably be a little bit disappointed because the praying mantis never showed up in the in the episode and that's probably just because of budget reasons and stuff like that probably cost a lot of money to make a design for a praying mantis and they probably didn't want to go with like a cgi one so you know what i don't really blame them but i certainly did enjoy a shocker on shock street a lot more than the episode basically for the same reasons as one day at Horrorland. there's just more more and more and that's what i really like and this book is not slow paced um it gets right to the action like maybe a fourth away through the book they get to the tram ride and for the rest of the book you get all these different uh parts of the tram ride that are really really great i love them um and there's so much trickery with with um is, is this actually uh real like monsters that are coming after this or is this all just the special effects for the tram ride and stuff like that all this different stuff and then you know throughout the book you're thinking when's the tram ride gonna end when are they gonna tell uh the dad about the experience and stuff like that because the dad wanted um to know uh what they their thoughts on the tram ride and stuff like that so there is a you know a lot of twist and turns and anticipation for something to happen and it just keeps going and going and going and um uh yeah i i enjoyed this a lot more than the episode like i said and i think that's pretty much all i need to say there's not a lot to go with a shocker on shock street other than it just had a lot more to offer than the book did um, I guess one more thing I should say, as far as the twist ending goes, how did I feel about the twist ending? Uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of back and forth with how I like the twist ending. I don't think it completely ruined the book for me, but I think they could have came up with something better. And I, I'm going to need to watch the episode, um, I'm going to need to watch the episode again just for a refresher. Um, but I'm pretty sure as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's been a while since I've watched the episode, I liked the episode's ending, twist ending, I should say, more than I liked uh, A Shocker on Shock Street's uh, twist ending. Um, and I think that's because it goes into more detail after the twist happens. It's kind of like a satisfying twist. For this one, it's just kind of like, that's it, really? Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hooked on whether or not I like the twist or not. It's it's okay. It's just an average twist for me. I, I'm kind of back and forth whether or not I, I like it. Um, I, I just think they probably could have done something that the, the episode did um, that would make the, the twist a little bit better. Um, and that's pretty much it for things to say about Shocker on Shock Street. What would I get this, give this book um, out of 10? <sighs> hmm, let me think. I gave, I gave an 8.5 out of 10 for The Haunted Mask uh, 2. And I would say I enjoyed this book equally as much as I enjoyed The Haunted Mask 2. So I'm going to give A Shocker on Shock Street an 8.5 out of 10 as well. Um, once again, just to reiterate, liked this a lot more than I liked the episode, although I think the episode has a better ending than the, uh, book does, as far as I can remember, I'm gonna need to watch it again. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to say, just not a lot to say about, uh, A Shocker on Shock Street. I really enjoyed this book, and I would highly recommend it if you like kind of like a thrill adventure. This book is gonna give it to you, and it's not so paced, it's gonna get right to the action pretty quick into the book. So, yeah, Shocker on Shock Street, recommend this book, and uh, a solid read. And that's it for the book review. Um, not much to say about A Shocker on Shock Street, just a very simple explanation for what the book is about, and simple explanation for what my thoughts are on the book, and that's pretty much it. So make sure you stay tuned for round four of the Horror Slasher Killer matchups, and read the community post so that you can stay up to date with any potential future changes. Join the Discord, link is in the description of the about, or not in the description, Link is in the About section of the YouTube channel, um, and I think that is pretty much all there is to say for announcements. Um, I'm glad I made that a quick video. Other than that, like and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you next time.